martial arts, one of the key, key um, principles and values of a martial artist is loyalty. Now, I'm making this video in 2016 right now, and I want you to ask yourself this. Whatever year you're watching this, even if you're watching it right now, have you had people be loyal to you in your life, or have you had your, your trust betrayed? Okay? And I'm going to take a guess and say that you probably had your trust betrayed many times, over and over and over. The martial arts is built on loyalty. And this is very important because when a student comes into the academy, uh, the student is there to learn from the instructor, from the teacher, how to fight, how to defend themselves, basically how to beat somebody up. The normal interaction between instructor and student is that the instructor normally can beat up the student. In fact, I think that should be a requirement unless the guy is like 60, 80 years old or some shit. But then he should have students that can beat up the student, right? Uh, so the student starts off being weaker than the instructor and the instructor teaches the student all the things they need to learn to become stronger and eventually, if done properly, defeat the master himself. That, that would be a proper passing down of uh, martial arts technique, right? You wouldn't want to be like, the original guy was really good, the next guy was kind of good, the next guy was not that good, and then five generations later, everybody sucked, right? You wanted to get better and better and evolve. <laughs> such a big deal because if you're gonna teach somebody all your secrets you're gonna teach them your martial arts secrets you're gonna teach them your your life secrets your meditation secrets weapons I mean God there's so much in martial arts you wouldn't want them turning around and using it on you so this is why the the ancient masters they would withhold so much of the knowledge until a, dis, a student became a disciple and the disciple would then basically dedicate their life to this to the teacher for me, this is a big deal because part of my, a, a big, a big, huge part of my success in my life is that I am a loyal individual and I, like I stick to something and I stick to it. I learned that in the martial arts, right? When things get difficult, I don't give up. Like you know, I just look at if something I want to do and I keep going. And I say, you get a black belt, right? And not only that, I'm loyal to my friends. I'm loyal to uh, my fans. I'm loyal to the people that are loyal to me. You heard that, you know? And again, it's one of these sayings, people like saying it, but we live it in the martial arts. Now, in the modern tradition, I can't call it the modern tradition, I can call it in the modern way that the martial arts is going in the United States, especially, that's where I'm from, or that's where I reside, is that the idea of loyalty is lost. Students can train here, train over there, train over there, train over there. And if you take this back to the tradition of martial arts, that would have never happened, ever, ever happened. Now that's the difference between having an MMA gym, it's a mixed martial arts style, so you mix it up, you go to different places and you learn, versus a traditional martial arts style. Now IMC Academy, my academy, is a traditional martial art that teaches its students how to fight. So we don't teach MMA, we teach Panjo, street style self-defense, which predates UFC actually. And it's important to recognize that it's one thing if, we, if I was developing fighters for the ring to go and beat people up, that would be one way of teaching. What I'm doing is I'm developing human beings who can defend themselves. There's a big difference. <laughs>
my student go and fight in an MMA match? Yes, happened. we've done it so many times and we've done very well. Not only that, can they fight in kickboxing? Yes. Judo, yes. Wrestling, yes. Jiu-Jitsu, yes. Anything. Boxing, yes, right? Why? Because as a martial artist, you're a student of the art of war. And you should be able to fight. Doesn't mean you're gonna win, but you should be able to hold your ground and know you're safe. Loyalty is vital. Our tradition, the tradition of IMC, and what I pass on to my students without any apology, very, very straight and clear about this. I'm one of the few people now anywhere, and for sure in the area. If you train with me and you train at IMC, you as a student are not to train anywhere else. If you train somewhere else, then I terminate your membership here and you're welcome to train over there. This is very important to me. Loyalty is the number one quality that I judge people on. If a person is loyal, I'll forgive them a thousand times for what they do. If they're disloyal, they can't even fucking breathe long around them because it's a disloyal, disgenuine uh, human being. And I was reading uh, some stuff about success and millionaires, and you know, one of the things that millionaires, uh, multi-millionaires have is that they actually stay loyal to a task. So for example, you catch them, they've been doing the same thing for like 25 years, and then you see them after 25 years of like, let's say, music or singing or, or working on some kind of a, a tech or something, you see them make it after like, let's say 19, 20 years, and you miss that in all that time, they never gave up. That's called loyalty. Loyalty to your craft, loyalty to your vision, to your purpose in life. So loyalty is that, is that quality of not giving up on that person or that thing through hard times or good times, it doesn't matter. I'm down for you basically, right? As a martial artist, this is something that is ingrained in you. I think that one of the most um, repulsive qualities to me when I look at a human being is when I find out that they're not loyal. And you in your life may play it down a little bit, right? Because you've had so many betrayals. And trust me, I, I most likely have had more betrayals than you've had in your life just because of the volume of people that I deal with. But at the same time, you may have now learned to excuse it. Like, well, that's just how people act. Listen, disloyalty is never okay around me and it will never be treated as a light thing. It will be treated as the most severe form of um, crime against myself and my academy, my life, and my friends. And if I have any enemies in the world, they are the people who have uh, been disloyal to what I've taught them and what I've given them. And I have no problem with that because this is me as a person. with somebody, this is Monk's life, would you not want to have a partner like me? Who you know, if I give you my word, I'm loyal to it, no matter what anybody says. This is where it comes in handy in business and in life. If you're a woman and you're watching, would you not want a man who when he gives you his word, he means it? What about if you're a man and that's your brother right there, right? Brother in arms. You know he's loyal to you, he's not going to flip flop, okay? In today's world, men have taken on so much of the woman quality. So they now run around like little girls and they display tons of disloyalty. Women, it's in their genetics to be disloyal and that could be a conversation I can have at any time with anybody, not for this. But I don't blame the woman for being disloyal. I just know that that's the nature that she carries with her. On the other hand, a man is loyal. And martial arts, when you go back in the traditional martial arts, is for men, straight up. And martial arts at IMC Academy is for men. And I teach women, and I teach children, children, whether you're a man or a woman, children need to learn martial arts because of the defense and discipline and all that other stuff. When I'm getting to the adult ages, of course I have women students at the, at, the, at the survival center, but to me, I don't put too much stock in them because I've seen it. 
and I've been teaching now, you know, professionally teaching, meaning I was hired for 26 years I've been teaching. No. Oh, 20, 26 fucking years I've been teaching, professionally. In 26 years, I've never given a black belt to one woman. I've never seen her go too far from this. Okay, now I'm telling you that whether it's controversial to you or not, this is a monk's life, okay, a monk's life. And when you understand what, where I come from and what I do, then you have a better understanding, okay? So you go back in time, women were not allowed inside the temple. In fact, in Christianity, they weren't even allowed in the churches. This is a new thing, okay? So, this is important for you if you're understanding the tradition of martial arts. I'm not saying women shouldn't be allowed, obviously, I'm women students. I'm saying that loyalty is a value and a quality of a martial artist. He gives his word, he means it, and his word is more solid than any contract anybody can give. That is a martial artist, and that is me, and that's a monk's life. Now ask yourself if you'd like to be in business with someone like this. It may be scary because you're a liar. But see, that's good. That's good. Because I wouldn't want to deal with liars. I'd want to deal with someone like me whose loyalty is unshakable. And I'm loyal to my teachers till the end. Monk's life.